Alright everybody, so we're actually going to do a couple mods here today in this video for some PC only mods. So this is going to be, first off is a XO3 Predator armor, and these windows are going to work similar to the ways like the console ones work, so uh, well, it's not going to be as many mods as a lot of people do, but I'll, I just try to like, because the videos will be extremely long if there's like five mods, because I, I try to like make them go a little more in depth, I guess, or at least, um, Ah, uh, what was I gonna say? At least like show off a little instead of just showing off the armor exclusively, because I just want to show off some of the cool parts of this mod and list some stuff from the mod page. But this is the Predator armor, obviously inspired by the Predator. Um, pretty cool. And just a futuristic armor inspired by the Predator movies. You can craft it at the chemistry station, which I'll show you guys. Um, it should be upgraded with the um, workbench. You can't really change anything on it though. I've already tried. It has helmets, blades, and cannon are separate items that can be crafted individually, so you can mess around with that if you want to. They uh, also, the armor, helmet, blades, and cannon offer plus two endurance, perception, strength, and agility, respectively. There's a night vision mod called Predator Vision that can be turned on and off using the workbench, and also only activates when you're in first person, so if you go back into third person, it's gone. And it says it's dialogue cinematics with cool audio and vision effect. Okay. Okay. And the Predator version works best at night. Um, so we'll check it out in a minute, but first off, I'll show you guys with the armor. So you just go down here, just craft it for some various ingredients. Not bad. You can see the, um, they add some stuff, the endurance, the strength, and all that, the strength and all that stuff. Pretty cool though. See, you can tell I'm still not used to PC controls. Still like thinking Xbox-wise. But whatever, I'll get the hang of it eventually. But overall, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't mean to push that button. <laughs> I was going to say, it's kind of cool that there's a... Um, it uses a fusion core, fusion core right there, the um, model for it. So, it's pretty cool in the back right there. But overall, pretty cool looking. Um, definitely would recommend putting this under character. If you think it looks cool. Um, obviously you can take the blades and armor off. You can also take the helmet off if you really want it on. You know, style your character. You can look cool with it on. Or just just like this. Whatever. So you can have it like it is like your character um, becomes a predator or something. Something like that. Not becomes a predator. I guess just puts a suit on. Or something like that. I'm not a big, like, uh, I'm not like a lore person. Like, not lore person. Like, um... Like, I'm not very knowledgeable of the Predator series, so don't ask me if I just say something that does like makes no sense with the series. Something like that always. But it is pretty cool, as you guys can see here. I'm going to put the helmet back on because we're going to show off the uh, night vision thing. Pretty cool. Pretty soon, I meant to say. But first off, we're going to go and change it up at the workbench. I'll just show you how to do it right here. Um, we'll go ahead and put it on... Uh, turn on. All right. And then when you're in first person, it should activate. Unless I messed it up in there when I was doing it. Did I not turn it on? No, I didn't. Can't believe I just did that. I don't know how I messed it up. Okay, whatever. Could just look at the footage later and see what I messed up about. Uh, so, if you go in the first person, it's going to be like this, but we're going to go at night time in a minute. I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really... I want to see if it does anything. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I'm kind of confused. Whatever. Maybe you'll notice it more if you get to go and go into your dialogue a lot more than just wearing this regular game but I don't know but let's wait till night here see I'm not really proficient with uh, console controls yet so I gotta do the good old waiting <laughs> for now <laughs> until I'm like knowledgeable I know some of them I know the camera and god mode and all that stuff like that but and they give items but I don't obviously don't remember the codes but let's uh go ahead and turn this on Ooh, it looks really cool at night as you get to see here look at that nice Alright, so let's go to the first person. Um, Alright. Ooh. It's kind 
cool. Definitely an interesting uh, look at looking at the vision system here. Obviously, if oh, we can see yeah, look how it like points out when they start moving. That is cool. I forgot I, <laughs> that was really loud, and I forgot that I had a grenade launcher. Anyway, guys, we're gonna go on to the next mod here. So we'll see you guys in a second. All right, for our next mod, we're looking at the Resident Six, which is just basically. Uh, mashup mod between the Resident 6 and the um, Grognak um, outfit. So, anyway, how you get this is you're just going to type in this. I copy and pasted it there. And then it's going to come up with this. And you're just going to do player add item and that ID. Or you could just skip all that and just, in this video, just type that in. So, anyway, pretty simple. Just add it to your inventory. It works for CBE. So, pretty cool here. This is going to look like under character. Just a simple little mod here that you know works like this, and I had to um, actually change the um, files around because um, this actually does not work for uh, CBE with the um, the never new version of it. So you actually have to put on the new version of it. Uh, I definitely um, didn't have that on just because I for um, YouTube purposes. So anyway, it gives you some damage resistance and some luck, so it's always good. Anyway, guys, we're gonna go on the next mod. This was a pretty simple mod here, and I wanted to take it easy on one mod because um, we had a longer mod for the last one. So we'll see what the next one is. All right, everybody. So today we're gonna look at this mod. I don't know why Mike's turned, but whatever. Uh, we're looking at this mod, which basically adds just changes the grenades in the game. Either this uh, adds it as its own or replaces it. And also adds another game thing on the game, but it's um, uh, ported from um, modern modern warfare. So it says all credits are given to that. So I want to take a look at it. So it's pretty cool. All you have to do is either find it at vendors and stuff like that, or you're just gonna go and just grab it under here. So pretty cool. And we'll just have a little fun with it. Simple little mod for this. And I gotta say, all these mods are not on uh, consoles, so makes sense for the video but um, this is also a test video because I um, need to get used to putting this many mods in the video and especially on PC so anyway let me take a look at this thing oh. uh, I feel embarrassed cause I don't actually um, oh it's a right there <laughs> I didn't remember what this was gonna look like pretty cool um, then there's this I don't know why there's two different versions of the same thing but whatever and it replaces a grenade to look like that. So, pretty cool. And my grenades are pretty strong because I have all the perks. But the other ones just seem like the about the same strength as the other one. For some reason, I don't push G because I think that's what it's set for me on Fall into Vegas. But, you know, they're working about the same as regular grenades. But overall, it's pretty cool if you like grenade mods and stuff like that. I noticed it because I just want to replace it for the grenades because I thought it would be cool. This one's pretty cool too. Um, I've never played the game myself, so... It's just kind of new to me, even though they're, I think they're pretty cool, though. <laughs> forgot this mod was a grenade mod. Not the, I forgot this gun was. Don't know why I'm trying to kill a blowfly with grenades, but you know what? Come here. <laughs> I literally cannot kill this thing with uh, this thing. You know what? Come here. Come here. Leave me alone. Die. Die, please. Did I get him? One of them? Please? Look at it, yes! <laughs> Got him with grenades. Anyway, guys, if I'm downloading these mods, they will be in the description. Um, pretty cool. Pretty um, cool to start out with the style, but I definitely wanted to do this more again. Um, obviously, you're going to improve them, these videos, as I go. Uh, still pretty new to it but and the way I play PC too so I'll see you guys later um, please like subscribe and bye bye